Hello, I'm DarkFox127 and welcome to my second Skyrim tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a merchant and that has been done numerous times by numerous people but there's something a little different I'm actually going to be adding on the end of this tutorial and that is to make not only a merchant but an innkeeper as well so they can show you to a specified room and you can rent the room for 24 hours. So I've started off by creating a quick little inn here. I actually just copied a, a standard inn, placed it in my own location. Um, obviously the idea of this is that you'd have created your own inn and what you want to do is get your own innkeeper. So that's what I'm going to show you today. First thing we want to do is make a chest for our merchant. As you can see I've gone ahead and searched for a chest I want to use as a template which is the Bannered Mare chest. So I'm going to right click and duplicate that. Refresh the search. Where's that gone now? There it is. There's our copy. So we right click and edit our copy we've got. I'm going to just name that. Uh, I'm going to call it test chest and as you can see the items list over here is what the merchant sells so you'd put in here leveled items usually so that they don't sell too much powerful stuff if for example they were actually selling potions uh, so you, you can change that to what you wish but I'm going to keep it as that click OK click no to that and yes if we just research for that. Now you want to drag and drop this chest into the void out the way because we don't want the player to be able to just go up to the chest and steal stuff out of it. So that's out there, out the way. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create our merchant. So scroll up, go to actor now I'm just going to use Holder from the White Run Bannered Mare as a template, so I'm going to right click and duplicate her. Right click and edit. Just going to give her an idea of Test Gal. Let's call her Test Gal. Doesn't really matter, you put what you want in there. Uh, we've got two scripts here, you want to get rid of the, the bottom script, remove that. And then the next thing you want to do is go into factions. And you want to delete all the factions apart from three. And the three factions you want to keep are job innkeeper faction job merchant faction and job rent room faction and you want to make sure that all these are set to zero so if you just click F2 and zero you change them all next thing we want to go into AI packages and we want to get rid of the white run innkeeper package so we want to leave that blank now we're going to create a package shortly but we'll leave that for now you can change everything else you can change the appearance so you make the character to exactly what you want I'm not going to do that now I'm just going to stick with Holder's appearance because it's nice and simple click OK click no click yes now we've got test gal there now the next thing we need to do is just drag our merchant in into the inn, there we go now hovering, you know, not hovering, thought she was hovering if she does end up hovering in the air like that just tap F she'll be floored put to the ground and there we go, so she's standing behind the desk now the fun starts we've got this room on the right over here this is the room that we want to rent out so this bed is the one that we're going to be using so if you double click the bed click on ownership and we need to set this to the name of your NPC so it will be Tesco 
so she owns the bed. This basically means that you won't be able to just walk straight in and use the bed without paying. So that's done, that's set up. Now the next thing you need to do is we are going to tell her where she needs to stand which is behind the bar, we need to tell her she needs to remain there and after she's shown you to your room she needs to return there. So the next thing we need to add is a X marker heading. So we'll go down, click all so it shows the results. There it is. And you want to put this to the location where you want your character to stand. So in this case it's behind the bar or counter. And we need to go back and edit our test gal. There she is. And we need to go to AI packages. Now, hopefully I'm going to get around to creating a tutorial about AI packages, but it won't be today. So if we just right click and new, we'll make a quick package here. Now the first thing you want to do is give it an ID. So we'll just call it test gal package. And then if you want to go over here to package template, you need to change this to just sandbox. Now, location. You need to click this, click this button here, and then near reference, select reference, and we're going to double click on the X marker we just made. As you can see, it's changed to that. OK. And uh, should be it. Click OK. As you can see, she's got a package which tells her the area she needs to stand or round about. One thing I did forget actually, I'll just nip back into that. If you go on the location, you want to change the radius to about 100 so she stays around the bar. Now, the next thing you need to do is go to our script here, double click it, click on bed, and over here you can see that the reference is to the bannered mare and we don't want that because she'll be trying to send you halfway across Skyrim to show you to your room. So we need to go over to our room here and we need to go back on there, we need to go pick reference in render window and double click on the bed. Now as you can see it's changed to that and this is basically telling our test gal that this is where she needs to show you to and it's the bed that she'll be renting out. So if we click OK and OK down there now there's one thing left to do and that is to create a merchant faction. So if you go into character and faction uh, we can right click and new give it an ID I'm just going to call it Descal Faction mistype there give it the same name, that doesn't really matter what that is. Click can be owned, go to the vendor tab, tick vendor. Now the starting hour is the hours, starting and end hour, it's the hours that you wanted to be working and I'm just going to set this from 9 in the morning and she finishes at 5 in the evening so that will be 17 because we're on a 24 hour clock and then you want to go under vendor buy sell list and you want to type in vendor items and if you scroll down a bit then we'll find innkeeper so you want that vendor items innkeeper and that basically states that she will be only selling stuff relevant to an inn so mead and such and such and she'll only buy the same sort of things off you the next thing you want to do is click the select reference window, not quite yet though, we need to be looking at our our chest that we dragged in, where did we put it, there it is. Make sure you're hovering over that before we click that. Select reference in window, so you need to double click on your chest. So that is the chest you'll be going to for buying and selling. Click OK. And then we need to add this faction onto her list. So again, 
we just go back to her? Should be the last thing we need to do. Go into factions, right click new, type in what you called your, your faction, click OK. So she's got four factions there, click OK again, and now you want to just save your mod. I've already gone ahead and called it the in mod. You can call yours whatever you want. And that should be it. The one thing you need to be aware of is that you've actually nav meshed your area. You can find nav mesh tutorials out there. I won't be doing one as I, I find it very irritating sometimes and I couldn't tell everyone else how to do it. It, it would drive me insane. But uh, there we go. I've got this area quickly nav meshed. But that needs to be done otherwise she won't be able to show you to your room. So next thing, the only thing left to do is load up the game so I will nip in game and I will show you this fully working she should be able to let me pay for a room show me to the room and it will be mine for 24 hours so I shall see you in game ok so as you can see I have arrived at my inn and yeah. here is our character Huh? she can sell me stuff drink for the thirsty Food for the hungry. There we go, but only selected things. I can sell back. Uh, rumours, she'll do rumours, and she'll rent me a room. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. And she should show me the way. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything there else we you go. need. So that is how you create your very own innkeeper, Stroke Merchant. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope it was helpful. Please leave comments. And I will talk to you next time.